Let us see how we can publish the Power BI report in Power BI service. This is the report which we will be publishing in Power BI service. So make sure whenever you are publishing the report, you are signed in with an account and it should be the same account as a Power BI service. So let me add another page over here to increase the number of pages. I will go with this page one. I will click select product category and sales. So this is the visual for this page. And this is our main page. Okay, so we can now click on the publish button. It is asking to save the changes. Yes, save the changes. Now it's asking to select a destination. So these are the different workspaces which are present in my Power BI service. So uh, these workspaces are basically like folders. So we can create different folders in Power BI service and we can publish a specific report in a specific folder. So for now I'm selecting the practice workspace. I will click on select and it will start publishing. It will start loading to publish the report. And the time taken to publish basically depends upon the size of the report and the number of sheets or the number of pages which are present in the report. So it will get published soon. Okay, it is successfully published. So you can see a link here. This will directly take us to the report on Power BI service. So you can also notice that the name of the report is same. Sales overview dot PBIX and the uh, name of the report in my desktop is also the same. So we can click here and it will take us to the Power BI service page. It will take some time to load the report. Okay, it's loading your report. Okay, so the report is published now. You can see the entire report file has been published because the second page is also published over here. Okay, so let's see if it is an interactive report or not. We can click, we can select the date range. And select something from here. Okay, so as you can see, this is an interactive report. So when a report is published, you can do many uh, various types of things. You can download the report. You can also share it with your colleagues. You can also do a bunch of other things, which we will explore in the next video. So thank you for watching the video.